few days ago, one of my subscribers, Herman Sukoko, I hope I pronounced his name uh, correctly, suggests that uh, I make a tutorial about the field tool. So far on the plan, I draw the walls, uh, windows, doors, stairs, and then I edit some lines and uh, colors and pen sets. And that's a good suggestion from Herman. Uh, in this video, I would like to talk about the field tool. Let's learn, practice, and share. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Matt Tutorials. In this video, I would like to talk about the field tool on the uh, Documents tab. Here we have um, a tool named Field Tool, and we can draw different uh, styles of fields with um, different shapes on our plan. And actually it works like the hatch tool in uh, AutoCAD. So I selected the fill tool, then I uh, select the geometry method, and then I can draw any shape on the plan. Then I can select the fill tool, uh, and I can select a different style for the fill. And uh, this field will show me uh, the pattern that I choose on the field type. This element is a two-dimensional element, so we don't see it on the 3D view. And we can use uh, this tool. For example, we want to uh, show some floorings or uh, different spaces on our plan. We can use this tool. So for example, on the, this bathroom, on this bathroom here, I'm gonna click on the field tool. Then with holding down the space key on the keyboard, I'm gonna see a blue line demonstrating the area that uh, I have for this room. Then with one click, I can have a fill for this bathroom. Then I can select uh, the fill. Then here, for example, I can uh, select a grid, 90 by 90, which it seems like it's tiles with dimension of 90 by 90. Then, for example, I can change it to uh, something else like this, or even uh, the hexagonal, which I like the most. It looks more modern. And then um, imagine that we have different uh, fill for different spaces and how much uh, the plan that we are drawing is easy to read and, of course, more detailed. In the library that uh, we have for the field type, it seems that we have limited choices. But in general, we have five types of fields, solid fields, gradient fields, vectorial fields, uh, symbol fields, and uh, image fields, which, for example, the solid fields could be the solid color. It doesn't have any pattern. Uh, the gradients makes gradients for the fields. Then we have vectorial, which I'm going to talk about later. And we use these uh, vectorial fields mostly for uh, detailing. And then we have a symbol field, uh, which we used for mostly the pavements and the roof tiles, even the bricks. Of course, in the vectorial fields, we have uh, bricks, which we use it um, in detailing. And then we have uh, the image fields, which we can import an image and use it as a, a field. So to understand better, I uh, prepared some uh, fields here with uh, the small uh, dimensions. I'm going to delete this one that I uh, drew it earlier. Then, for example, here we have uh, grass, we have uh, bricks. This one is uh, gypsum. Uh, this one is hexagonal that I just applied here in, on this bathroom, which it works like um, the tiles. Uh, then here we have carpet that it has some small dots. Then so many other things, which, uh, for example, this one, if I uh, select it and apply it here, this one seems to have an accurate scale compared to the plan. But, for example, if I select the insulation and apply it here, it seems that uh, this insulation has a much bigger scale for the plan. And, uh, for example, here I made this feel as the insulation in between the walls. And as you see, it's not very readable. So we can change the scale of each fields or the patterns that we have in ArchiCAD. To do this, let's go to the option, the element attributes, and we click on the fields. 
Here, I can see the specifications of the insulation, which the pattern unit is 0 0.13 by 0 0.13. And the zoom now it's set to um, something more than 100. So I'm going to set it to 100 to understand uh, better the situation. And then we can uh, also set a rotation for the lines that we are editing. Then here we can select these fields to be as a general field or drafting. And then we can have uh, as a cover field and um, then the cut field. So uh, we don't use insulation as a cover field. That's why for this type, this button is turned off. Uh, to change the scale for the insulation that I made here, uh, I should just change uh, this dimension. So for example, now is 0 0.13. I'm gonna put it almost half and I would like to put it as 0 0.05. Also for the height, I'm gonna uh, do the same. And this pattern will be refreshed with uh, these uh, dimensions that I just put in. And then if I uh, hit OK, you will see that all the uh, patterns that I have as insulation I may plan uh, has changed to the new dimension and new scale that I just put in. So if you're not happy with uh, this uh, scale, you can do the same process again. So for example, I would like to change it to one and one. Then I hit OK. And now these um, insulations can be more readable uh, when I have it on the plan. So if this is uh, the reason you clicked on this video and you are watching it till now, uh, don't forget to hit the like button. And if this is the first time that you are watching my tutorials, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to make more tutorials in ArchiCAD and some other applications that architects use to demonstrate their designs. Now I would like to talk about how to make a new fill, uh, which I desire to uh, use it on my plans and I don't have it on the fill library. Before I start that, I would like to mention that here we can select different style for uh, this solid line that you see here. We can select a different lines. And of course, if you would like to make a new line style, you can click on this card right up here and watch that tutorial that I made previously. And of course, we can turn off the outline type. Now these fillings don't have any outlines. Then we could uh, select a different method to show the direction of the fields. Like now it's set to project origin. But if I set it on fill origin, I can change the uh, direction of the fields in any angles that I desire. So I'm going to put it back to the normal. And then I'm going to show you how we can uh, make a new field type. I'm going back to the fields. Then here I'm going to select new. And then we have three types of uh, fields that we can select, solid, symbol, and image. Um, here I would like to make a symbol of M and T, which is math tutorials. Previously, I made um, the line with M and T to make a special line. So I'm going to use the same characters to make a symbol field. So I'm going to select the symbol field. Then here I'm going to select M, T, fill, and then I can hit OK. Also, you can uh, duplicate one of the existing fields and make some uh, changes to the existing fields. But uh, for this, I would like to use um, blank fields. So I'm going to hit OK. Then here we're going to see that we can set the field to uh, the drafting field, the cover or uh, the cut. So I'm going to do for uh, the three. Then this one is just a screen only pattern. It doesn't matter if you um, change it or uh, make a different pattern here. So I'm going to change it and make an empty shape here. 
just by clicking on this uh, point, it's going to turn black or white, so it doesn't need any other um, tools to make these shapes. So this will be like M, and I don't have uh, any uh, more space to make the T. Let me uh, redraw it. Okay, now we can uh, see this pattern that we are making here as an icon uh, on this field. So on the uh, library that we are choosing, then uh, I'm gonna hit uh, OK for now because uh, I had to copy some lines or fields uh, before I uh, make the new one. Okay, uh, this one I used for making uh, these lines. Uh, I'm gonna copy it here. Then I'm gonna uh, delete these uh, two parts. And then I would like to make it something like this one. Something like this. I'm gonna uh, select them all and uh, hit Control C on the keyboard, which is uh, copying these lines. Then I go back to the options, element attributes, fields. I'm gonna select the empty field that uh, I was working on. And then here, I'm gonna uh, click on the paste. And uh, we can see here that uh, these lines that we draw is now on the pattern unit that is like the uh, base for uh, pasting our designs. Also, we can make some changes to this unit by changing the scale or putting some rotation. For example, here I'm going to put uh, 45 degrees. Then we could add some stroke. For example, here, if I zoomed in, it seems that uh, these two lines are so close together. So I'm going to add uh, some stroke to uh, these ones. I'm going to uh, put, for example, I don't know, 60. Then I'm going to then I'm going to do the same for the height. And when I zoom out, you see that this unit now has a distance to the uh, original uh, pattern. So I'm going to turn it back to what it was. Maybe two also will be fine. Yeah, it seems nicer. Then uh, also we can, if I change it back to zero, you might uh, understand it better. So this unit has been uh, repeated here on the top, directly on the top and directly on the front and back. So with these two numbers, I can make it like a brick. So for example, I'm going to set this number as 08 and then also this one as 08. Now, if I zoom in, you will see that this pattern has completely changed uh, instead of going direct to a diagonal uh, repetition. Also, the dimension of the unit is uh, 15 by 15, and I cannot change it because uh, it is what it is that I copied from the ARCHICAD that I just drew right here. Then if I want to change the distance, I should calculate it uh, by this origin point of um, the pattern. So if I want to turn it back to what it was, I should uh, put this one on the zero, and then I should put it back to the 15, which is the original uh, dimension. So this is the original basic pattern that ARCHICAD gives us at the first step. If I zoom back to uh, go on the 100, the scale now is 1 to 1. I'm going to hit OK. Then here, I, I would like to change uh, this one to the empty um, pattern, the empty field that I just make. There it is. Okay. 
Now uh, it seems that uh, they are very, very small. I would like to make it bigger. The only things that I should do is changing the uh, scale on the selected fields. So I'm going to select the empty fields again. And then here, for example, I would like to uh, triple the scale. Uh, I'm going to put it back to 100. Then maybe even five. And then I'm going to hit OK. Now I made uh, this pattern five times bigger. And I can uh, understand better the details and situations of this pattern uh, on my plan. So if you are making a pattern for a special material for uh, the um, detailing, you can keep the scale that you're drawing uh, at the first place. But if you want to use uh, some pattern as, for example, tilings or something that you want to see from far behind, you can change the scale to an upper number. So uh, practice working with uh, the fill tool. Try to make a new fill. And if you have uh, some problems, some uh, questions, just write it down on the comments. I'm going to uh, read all of your comments and I'm going to answer them immediately. Uh, also, if you like this tutorial, hit the like button, please. And uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel if you like this tutorial. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye.